the most important thing in buying a laptop is the choosing the processor but it's the most difficult job because there are so many processor available in the market with so many generation so you will be confused which processor to buy so in this video i will explain how to choose a processor first you will have a confusion between intel and amd so let's talk about that first then i will share the metrics you must look before buying a processor and finally i will share a bonus tip where you can buy a processor with just knowing the name of the processor before saying that i am ragu prashant from activity mad and if you are new to our channel please consider subscribe and if you are already member of our community welcome back let's get into the video the first confusion you get while choosing a process whether go with amd processor or intel processor so let's take two smartphone brands to compare these two processor let's consider samsung as the intel processor and redmi as the amd processor samsung offers great performance at 30000 rupees but redmi offers the same performance in less price around 20 to 25000 rupees it's same in the amd and intel processor the intel offers the great performance at the high price because it has a big reputation in the market but amd is new to market so they offer the great performance in the less expensive price so if you have a low budget then you can go with the amd processor but if you have enough money then you can go with the intel processor for the reputation but in my opinion both the amd and the intel processor great one so you can go with the processor which you feel good personally after deciding which brand of processor you are going with then you should decide your usage for what purpose you are looking at laptop if you are not clear with that then you can buy the best processor so decide what kind of usage you are going to do with your laptop after deciding your usage you must look three things in a processor which you are going to buy the core the thread and the cache memory core is the important thing which handles all the tasks you do in your laptop the core number starts from 2 to maximum of 8 in the market right now so the higher the number of cores higher the multitasking you do with your laptop without any trouble i will recommend to go with the four core processor because it can handle all sorts of work without any trouble so please buy a processor with minimum of four cores then you can do all the work without any trouble and the second most important thing is thread and there are maximum of 16 cores of threads of processor available in the market right now and thread is nothing but the ability of a processor to create a virtual core so that it can handle all the works without any trouble than having only the 4 or 8 cores so if you have a 16 core thread then it can handle all the heavy works without any lag so try to buy a processor with more number of cores and which also has the ability to create more number of threads so that it can handle all the works without any lag and you can do any work without any trouble so try to buy those processor cache memory cache memory is nothing but the memory which helps to work with multiple application at the same time for example you will be working with two to four application at the same time the ability of the software or the processor to keep all the application opened at the same time is with the help of this cache memory and if you are trying to switch from one application to one application the time taken to open the another application from background is with the help of this cache memory and if you want the application to open so fast from the background then you should buy the processor with high cache memory and you must look for these three things in a processor the processor with more number of cores and the ability of a processor to create more number of threads and finally it should have a high cache memory and if you buy a processor with combinedly these three things then the processor is in beast mode and here is the processor suggestion as per your needs and if you are looking a processor for just browsing and watching movies in amd you can go with ryzen 3 5400u and in intel you can go with core i3 3100h processor and you can decide amd or intel i won't recommend to go with intel or amd that's your choice and if you are looking a processor for high browsing purpose and college works and you will do some simple video editing so in amd you can go with ryzen 5600h and intel you can go with core i 11500h processor and if you are looking a laptop for content creations like photoshop video editing and some modded game then in amd you can go with ryzen 7 5800h and in intel you can go with core i7 11850h processor and finally if you are looking a laptop for heavy usage like editing 8k footage video or playing heavy games and in amd you can go with ryzen 9 5900 850 hx mobile processor and in intel you can go with core i9 11900 kb processor and these are the suggestion for the processor as per your needs so you can buy this processor because it's the latest processor available in every generation right now 
and here's the bonus tip to select the processor with just their name in amd they will name all the processor ending with u and h like 4700u and 4800h and just remember the u series in amd is cost efficient and it's based on the balanced work with power efficiency and the h is meant for the high performance so it will have the high performance with high cost so that's the difference between the u and h series in the amd so you can buy the processor in the amd as per your need and for intel it's a difficult job but here's the easy tip to select an Intel processor with just their name. If an Intel processor ends with 5 digits and H, it means a faster model with more cores. And if it ends with HK, it means a super faster model with an overclocking option. And instead, if it ends with 4 digits with G7 or G4, it means it's for the balanced work processor and it's not for heavy processing. So just remember these tips while buying a processor. And I hope you got more tips and gained knowledge to how to buy a processor from this video. If yes, Please hit the like button and the subscribe button and don't forget to share this video with your friends so let them also know how to buy a processor and please do supporting us by subscribing us and stay tuned for more videos just like this one thank you